Hey guys, uh, greetings from the past. I'm recording this on Sunday, April 5th in my stylish apartment, as you can see. I hope everybody is doing really well, that you're staying in and that you and your families are staying safe. Um, this is gonna be something new. We're trying it out. Hopefully, uh, moving forward every Monday, you can go on Google Classroom or whatever format that your teacher uses to communicate with you and you will find an art video that I have posted. Now, these videos, you will have the entire week to work on the project. Do it at your own pace, but you should spend at least one hour a week working on the project. Um, these projects are going to focus on a single theme. We're gonna start with the elements and principles of art, but we might uh, mix things up as we go along, depending on how long we're doing this for. And then you will have the option when you're all finished to email me the, uh, a picture of your finished work. You can email me at mfrodriguez, R-O-D-R-I-G-U-E-Z 4 at cps.edu. That email is on the Everhart website. I'm going to post it in the links. And if you email me, I will post your finished project either to a Google Classroom art gallery, or I might even put it on the Instagram, which if you're not following the Eberhardt Instagram, you should. It is at Eberhart Art. Okay, so for this first week, we are going to be focusing on the element of line. Now line is one of the most basic elements in art. And there are some artists who have done really amazing things with line. Um, some artists, for example, like Leonardo da Vinci. Pablo Picasso. Even Andy Warhol. All right. So what we are going to be doing, depending on your grade level, is a different project involving the concept, the element of line. All right, so let's get started. All right, kindergarten through second graders, we are back. And my cat Baxter has decided to join us, which is fitting because we are going to be talking about an artist named Laurel Birch, who is famous for drawing and painting cats. So if you have not watched the two links to the videos I have posted, and they should appear below, they should be on the Google Classroom or the Seesaw, whatever um, you know format your teacher is using to communicate with you. If you have not watched those yet, go ahead and pause this and watch those two videos first because they are going to give you some information on the artist Laurel Birch. I will wait. All right. I'm going to assume you watch those videos. So we are going to go ahead and get started on the project. Now, as you saw in the videos, Laurel Birch um, had a very fun style. She had a difficult life. She had some challenges, but she chose to enrich her life by making very joyful, expressive drawings and paintings. So what we are going to do is we're going to make an expressive cat drawing. And we are going to try to show as many different kinds of line as we can in this cat drawing. Now, um, we're gonna try to keep these projects pretty simple, things you can do at home with what you already have. So for this first project, you are just going to need a pencil and a piece of paper. And then, if you color it, you're gonna need to use whatever colors you have around the house. Okay, so you can use crayons, you can use markers, you can use colored pencils. You know, if you have paints and your parents want you to paint, you can even paint this, all right? So be creative. Do uh, what you like and use what you have. But what I'm gonna show you now is just the drawing portion. I am going to draw using a Sharpie so that you can see it a little bit better, but you should be drawing at your desk or your table with a pencil, okay? That way if you make a mistake, you can erase it. But don't worry about it, just do the best you can. All right, so we are going to start if this works by making a V 
Okay, so we're gonna draw a V shape at the top of the paper like that. Go ahead and do that. Next, we're gonna make sort of like a W shape or a V that turned on its side, like a bump, like an upside down heart. Okay, that's gonna be the cat's face. Now, I'm sure you saw in the video some examples of Laurel Birch cats. They're not realistic looking cats. They're sort of cartoony cats and that's why this looks a little bit strange, like a upside down heart or a tooth. Oh, and speaking of cats, here we go. Say goodbye, Baxter. Now, for the cat's body, you're gonna draw a curved line going down like this. And then on the other side, you're gonna draw a curved line like this, but you wanna stop so that you can draw the tail. Now for the tail, you can make it wavy, you can make it zigzag, but you wanna draw a tail right here on the side and then finish with some pointy lines for the feet. All right, I gotta move this cat, give me a second. I'm back. Did you have a chance to finish your cat bodies? I hope so because we are going to do the face now. All right, so for the face, draw an upside down triangle right here for the nose. Got it? Okay. One line on the left, one line on the right for the top of the nose. We're going to make a curved line here and a curved line here. Now, as you might have heard in that video, Laurel Birch did not draw animals with animal eyes. She had a style where she drew them with people eyes. So we are going to give this cat more human looking eyes, which means we're gonna make them almond or like football shaped. So underneath those curved lines, those are kind of like the eyebrows, you're gonna make a football shape here and a football shape here. Then you are going to put two circles inside. One here and one here. Okay, now the last step is going to be to make the mouth. So for the mouth, we are just going to put a curved line here, kind of like a smile. You can put another one on the inside like that. All right, so that is our basic Laurel Birch cat. Now you can add details uh, however you would like. So you can put some ears, you could put whiskers, you know, claws, whatever you can think of that a cat would have. All right, and finally, once you've drawn your cat body, you are going to add your lines. Now, I want you to try and think of as many different kinds of lines as you can. All right, so what are some lines? We could do a straight line. Pretty simple. How about a wavy line? Now, what is the difference between a wavy line and a bumpy line? Let's do a bumpy line. What about a pointy zigzag line? Curly line? You could even do lines that are not continuous lines, like a dotted line. of that I haven't thought of yet I don't know hopefully you will send me a picture and we will see all right so fill your cat up with all kinds of different lines you can put lines on the tail you can put lines on the face 
Just see what you can do. And then, once you are done with that, all that is left is to color it. And again, color this however you can. If you have crayons, if you have markers, whatever works for you, all right? So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you email me pictures of your finished product if you'd like those to go on Google Classroom or on the Instagram account. Again, that is mfrodriguez4 at cps.edu. If you have any questions, you can email me as well, or you can put them in the comments on Google Classroom. You can contact me during my office hours. So I am going to be available for Google Chat or Google Meets um, from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And then again, from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Mondays and Fridays. So if you need a little more help, if you need some more step-by-step -step directions, if you or your parents have questions, you can email me first at my CPS email, and then we can figure out a time that works to do a Google Chat or to do a Google Meets. So we can sort of talk back and forth. Um, so just you know, contact me during those office hours, and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. See you next week, guys. Bye.